Tara, I've got an eye for talent, girl. And when I read what you said, and then I talked with you, and I didn't even know you were a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt at that point. That fact in and of itself, I mean, I could potentially be having completely heterosexual sex with somebody who has far more ground skills than Jamie Hara. <laughs> That's some funny shit. It really is. Uh, anyhow, um, oh yeah, the dedication that it takes to actually reach that point with your looks, you are probably really, really intimidating to most men. And uh, you know how worthless, <laughs> I mean, you know, many most of at least guys that have my color skin on, you know, I'm not talking all, I'm talking about there's some fucking woods that have a lot of heart, all right, that I'd feel comfortable with them at my back, but the uh, problem with that is most of the guys that uh, talk about it, um, you know what, they would run from it, right, they wouldn't be there, but it's just for now, and uh, damn, you know, the only thing keeping me from I don't even want to fucking fight, girl. That's the only thing that, you know, I really had to get this shit famous. And then, you know, started thinking, wow, people are thinking of speed thing, you know? Like running thing. Not me taking methamphetamine thing. Methamphetamine thing. Uh, yeah, that stopped years ago, okay? Um, I'm clean. They can do a fucking hair. They can do a DNA, everything test. I'm never touching that shit again. Don't have to. I can smoke stevia and get the same fucking effects, you know, the energy, the sexual drive, and I'm not sweating like a pig, because the shit's not poison, so my body's not trying to expel it. And, uh, oh yeah, you know, I'm 43 years old, and I look quite a bit younger than that, and I'm the schematic for how good it can be for bodies across America. These guys talking shit on me. Comparatively, uh, their genetic defects and should have been fucking sterilized, okay? Uh, their parents should have been, you know? They should have been like worker bees, okay? Almost like eunuchs. Uh, if their parents, I mean, if they're good parents, you know, uh, good people, have them adopt, you know, from more fortunate people so they're not sentencing their kids to looking in the mirror and feeling sick about going outside in public, right? I mean, yeah, it is what it is, girl. So, it's like this. I've met a lot of people. And, you know, does it really take... Does it really take that much to spot the exquisite beauty that you possess? You know it. Um, and uh, you've been waiting for a long time for a guy like me. And, you know, the fact that you're on the other side of the country, that's only geography, okay? Whoa, fucking goddamn it. You know what? That's what fucking... That's what... I swear to God, I fucking drive over shit. I'm not fucking paying attention, girl. I swear to God. When I said that, you know what, basically, we can be friends, but, you know, we're done that one night. Um, I wasn't fucking kidding, man. Uh, I mean, it's like this. Yeah, I've waited for an exquisite beauty like you my entire fucking life. And then I found her. And she had two boys that are magnificent. And I fucked that shit up behind methamphetamine because... Like when I was straight, I didn't want to be inside any pussy but hers. And that's not really true, but you know, I mean, I would have been content with that. Um, but when I was spun, I wanted to fuck anything but. Uh, put a wig and high heels on a fucking doorknob and I would have been trying to fuck that thing too, you know what I'm saying? Uh, or the keyhole, whatever, you know what? Uh, two on one. Um, anyhow, yeah, so I'm never touching methamphetamine again. And that's like I'm a billionaire and it's legal in Denmark and shit. And I might do it once, you know what I'm saying? Just to prove, prove a point, you know? We get our freak on. Uh, I'm all sweaty, it's nasty and shit. And then before that, we do a session with the uh, Stevia. And it's not all wet, unless you like sweat, you know? I mean, I guess if you sweat and you're in, like, really good shape or if you look like you're in really good shape and so it doesn't really matter uh and you like that and that's all good too uh what's up Suzanne Michelle Roy remember when you came to uh Notre Dame when it was uh, summer practice or uh, whatever and uh we had those sessions and it was hot as fuck yeah you like
like the, the sweating. Anyway, uh, it'd be cool if you told the truth about me getting set up at Notre Dame, getting fucked over, not fucking hitting that girl. Uh, you weren't there when uh, my Amazon, you know, her roommate's younger sister's pussy, but she didn't say stop. Um, the knock at the door did, damn man, are in there, the priest, that's what stopped that shit. Uh, you know what? They're gonna make movies about me, Tara. And if you're not a part of my life, you know, you're gonna feel, you're gonna feel lost. You really will. Uh, not that you're unfulfilled in what you're doing now, but I think that, I mean, I could have started this off, you know, how fucking cool. I'm gonna get to taste something that looks like Pamela Anderson and isn't a trashy piece of beep, <laughs> you know? Uh, what's up, uh, what's, she's not with Tommy Lee anymore. She's with Kid Rock, you know? And it's like this kid, it's not like if Tara wanted to eat her pussy, I wouldn't, you know, throw mine in too, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, not my pussy, I don't have one, but uh, a lot of people are calling me one, and the people that know me, <laughs> they laugh at that shit. I'm like, the, not the antithesis of pussy, because I get a lot of it, but, um, yeah, uh, if you look under savage in the motherfucking dictionary, bitches, you just might see my picture there. Um, oh, and to the genetic defect at Costco, the young, or not the young, uh, he looks like he's young, this fucking short, side-off little purple brother, uh, actually, actually took a step and in a threatening fucking voice went like this pointing at my fucking son right and i didn't wait to see if it was going to stop or was going to continue i slapped that shit down bitch and guess what the police officer at starbucks last night uh he agreed with me that it wasn't fucking assault that it was uh, a natural defense mechanism of a dad that could have snatched your punk ass fucking life. Oh dude, seriously, I could have hit you so fucking hard, bitch, from the side that I would have knocked your goddamn noggin off and fucking scrambled your brain. Seriously, you fuck with my kids. I'll tell you what, nigga, I'll fucking do you myself in front of people and go to the pen like Ellie Nestler and be a fucking star. No shit. I'll fucking be like goddamn Mel Gibson. Blood all over my face, dog, as I rip your fucking throat out, homie. Yeah, fuck with my kids, man. And it's exactly what I need before I go into battle next time. I need to be mad. Seriously. Uh, when I'm mad, fucking ask Mike Rout. You know, he said I'm the best fighter that he's ever seen. That's because my hand speed takes off and starts fucking going. And I don't really think about it. It's just non-stop, right? And uh, you take Harry Gopal out of Dan Quinn's equation. And I'm fucking everybody up punching. You know what? Uh, I didn't warm up for Aaron Brink. I didn't break a sweat. I hit him one time, fucking knocked his mouthpiece out and put him on a queer street. I'm gonna do that again over and over. And it's all right, Aaron. When you wake up, homie, at the end of this little rainbow, I'm gonna retire all my friends, dog, because I'll be able to, okay? I can make the fountain of youth. Look at me. I sit on my ass and fucking wonder if I'm gonna be lucky enough to have a woman as exquisite as me. Tara on my arms. Um, looks wise, you know what? Dime it doesn't. But you add that with the, uh, you know what, her inner core, and that's a combination that I want to know for a fucking lifetime. Peace out.